know that there are some doctors in North Carolina that are using this to convince their patients of the National Science Foundation and request 100 hours or 1,000 hours on a supercomputer in order to be able to use it in your classroom. Now, anybody can compute. Uh, that's what I call the power. The peril is that anybody can compute. And, and they don't necessarily think about what they're computing. They don't, or they can go to Google. Google will do this, Google will do that. Bing will do this, Bing will do that. But the question is, what reason do you have to believe? So what I want to make sure that in, in terms of the general theme of this morning's activity is really this idea of expectation, observation, and reflection. Before I got a PhD, I used simpler words. I would have used preview, view, and review, which is a method of learning about the world. It's a method of study. First, do the expectation. We'll talk about what the model will be. We can then download some of the example models, and then we'll run the models and observe them. And part of the reason for doing this, again, is to show you that there's lots and lots of models out there. I mean, if you went to Google and you typed in Benson and the subject you're trying to teach, you're going to find an incredible number of models that have already been built. And if you want to do research, you can go to scholar.google.com, which is a, a search of refereed publications. And you could do something similar. And you could get papers about these models. But for now, we have about 20 models that we keep improving and putting background information on. But if you could go to this website to start with, this will help you when we start downloading models. By the way, just as an aside, we're not going to do it right now, but if instead of the word Benson you stuck the word Excel, you would get 20 models in Excel that do all kinds of different things. The expectation is we're going to use a model to help understand how does the body absorb medicine 